through the city of mercy. Heeded your call, cry out to you. 
Rejoice, heavenly trumpet, proclaiming God to the world. Rejoice, mouth speaking truth, theology. Rejoice, speaking of truth amidst error. Rejoice, correction of those deceived by the prince of this world. Rejoice, tormentor of the devil's minions. Rejoice, strength of the faithful. Rejoice, herald of truth in the new world. Rejoice, truth's guardian and martyr in the old. Rejoice, O Father John, true pastor of the Orthodox in Russia and America. You came to America as to a wilderness of strange beliefs, O Father John, and like the herald of Christ whose name you bear, you proclaimed the kingdom of God to all who would listen teaching them to praise the one true God in Trinity and to sing with the angels, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Following in the footsteps of innocent Herman and Juvenali, you came to America as <clears throat> a land as strange to you as the Slavic lands were to Cyril and Methodius. Nevertheless, by word and deed, you fulfilled both the Great Commission and the Great Commandment, earning for yourself by God's grace the reward of a wise and faithful steward, and from us these words of praise. Rejoice, heir of the Alaskan saints. Rejoice, inspiration of saints to come. Rejoice, benefactor of those in need. Rejoice, consolation of those in sorrow. Rejoice, advocate of the powerless. Rejoice, physician of those infirm in soul and body. Rejoice, you who give strength to the humble. Rejoice, you who teach humility to the proud. Rejoice, O Father John. True pastor of the Orthodox in Russia and America. You came to America from your native land and amidst the cacophony of cultures and ideologies. You clearly preached the word of God, bringing many to the true faith and teaching them to sing Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Like Abraham, you left your homeland and guided your people through a land of a new land of promise, thus manifesting in the orth, thus manifesting the Orthodox faith to its inhabitants. In thanksgiving, we, the faithful of this land, cry out to you: Rejoice, anchor of faith in the tempest of worldly cares. Rejoice, rock pouring forth spiritual nourishment. Rejoice, bestower of the manna from heaven. Rejoice, our mediator who offers our gifts to God. Rejoice, guide of the pious. Rejoice, recoverer of those lost in sin. Rejoice, illuminator of those in delusion. Rejoice, reuniter of those in the union. Rejoice, O Father John, true pastor of the Orthodox in Russia and America. You came to America and from peoples of diverse tongues and nationalities, you brought together citizens of the holy nation called by Christ's name. And in the first unity manifested at Pentecost, you taught them to sing as one, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Imitating the journeys of the Apostle Paul, you traversed the heartland of America, sowing the seeds of orthodoxy in the fertile soil. Now we, the fruit born of your labor, offer our praise to you. Rejoice, you who heeded the call of Christ. Rejoice, laborer in the field of faith. 
Rejoice, planter of the seeds of truth. Rejoice, widower of the chaff of error. Rejoice, you who tended the field by word and deed. Rejoice, you who nourished it by the shedding of your blood. Rejoice, you who were sown as a righteous seed. <coughs> Rejoice, righteous seed, for you have borne fruit in abundance. Rejoice, O Father John, true pastor of the Orthodox in Russia and America. As chief among priests, you visited the church under your care across the heart of the continent, confirming true teachings, dispelling falsehoods, and reuniting those who had lapsed, that with one voice we may cry, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The land of North America was fertile, and with your saintly co-workers you strove to offer a plentiful harvest to the Lord, sowing where you knew others would reap. Nevertheless, through your efforts, the church in America has borne much fruit, and it glorifies your memory, saying, Rejoice, faithful follower of the Holy Hierarchicon. Rejoice, companion of saintly priests. Rejoice, colleague of victorious martyrs. Rejoice, peer of the seventy. Rejoice, elder of pious laity. Rejoice, servant of the faithful. Rejoice, laborer in the vineyard of Christ. Rejoice, pure fruit of Christ, the true vine. Rejoice, O Father John, true pastor of the Orthodox in Russia and America. You are truly beloved of God, O Holy Father John, for you were granted a foretaste of the communion of the saints while still on earth. For you counted among your co-laborers, your archpastors, the Holy Archbishop Tikhon and Holy Bishop Raphael, your colleagues in the sacred priesthood Alexis, and your co-sufferer Alexander. And we praise you as we sing to the God who glorified you. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. As a priest, you led your people in prayer while manifesting to them an image of the great high priest. Now you stand before him whom you preach. We, your spiritual children, offer you such words of praise as these. Rejoice, model of virtue. Rejoice, icon of piety. Rejoice, physician of souls. Rejoice, consoler of penitence. Rejoice, refuge of the weak. Rejoice, reprover of the proud. Rejoice, leader of the faithful. Rejoice, rescuer of the lost. Rejoice, O Father John, true pastor of the Orthodox in Russia and America. As the crowd once thronged Christ, seeking his aid, so your people sought you out, for you helped and guided them through all tribulations of this world. We now, as then, entreat you to aid all who worship the Trinity, crying, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. As Christ once instructed his disciples to allow the children to come to him, and as he himself once taught the elders in the temple, so also you, O Holy Father John, instilled the deposit of faith in your flock from the youngest to the oldest. Wherefore, we of all ages praise you with these words. Rejoice, O lamp, stand of truth. Rejoice, beacon of the faith. Rejoice, trumpet of the Spirit. Rejoice, voice of the fathers. Rejoice, flowing stream of divine knowledge. <coughs> Rejoice, abyss of heavenly wisdom. Rejoice,
rejoice, zealous expounder of the word of God. Rejoice, servant, dispeller of ungodly myths. Rejoice, O Father John, true pastor of the Orthodox in Russia and America. In unquestioning obedience to the Great Commission, you, O Holy Father John, imbued your flock with all that Christ commanded and taught through the apostles, securing them in the armor of faith, thus protecting them from all, the advers all of the adversaries and allowing them to joyfully sing Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. You have emulated Christ in all things, even in the horrific manner of your death, O holy Hieromartyr. As he was derided by pagan soldiers, so you were mocked by those of the atheists. As he was whipped and beaten, so you were bound and dragged over railroad ties. And as his body was pierced by the nails and the spear, so yours was by bullets. For this we offer you praise befitting your righteous life with such words as these. Rejoice, shining image of a Christian life. Rejoice, glorious icon of virtue. Rejoice, prey of the atheists. Rejoice, victor over the godless. Rejoice, sacrifice pleasing to God. Rejoice, libation nourishing the church. Rejoice, true shepherd of the church. Rejoice, true martyr for Christ. Rejoice, O Father John, true pastor of the Orthodox in Russia and America. In all things you embody all that Christians are called to be, both prophet, priest, and king. Prophet, for you proclaimed the uncorrupted word of God to all. Priest, for you offered all things, even your life to Christ, that all might be sanctified. King, for you ruled your people as a just and compassionate ruler in the name of the King of Kings. For this we honor you as we cry to him who rules over all. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. In all things you emulated the first disciples of Christ. You traversed great distances teaching, adjuring, and exhorting all who sought the true faith. To those in need you brought heavenly comfort. To the infirm you manifested the position of souls and bodies. To the confused and deluded you brought the true light which enlightens all. And to all generations you proved the model of true Christian living. For this we honor you with these words. Rejoice, healer of souls. Rejoice, intimidator of demons. Rejoice, guardian of the weak and destitute. Rejoice, reprover of the proud. Rejoice, enlightener of those seeking truth. Rejoice, confounder of those teaching empty myths. Rejoice, lamp of faith. Rejoice, extinguisher of the flames of perdition. Rejoice, O Father John, true pastor of the Orthodox in Russia and America. In ancient times when Abraham arrived in the land to which God sent him, he erected an altar and offered sacrifices to glorify the Lord's goodness and mercy. Likewise, when you arrived in America, you erected an altar to the Holy Trinity, at which you offered the bloodless sacrifice to him for your sins and those of the people. Now, as we stand before that same altar, we honor you and entreat your aid as we offer a sacrifice of praise to the God of our fathers, crying, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. O thrice blessed priest John, raised from a priestly family in the manner of Aaron, divinely appointed to the priesthood in the manner of Melchizedek, you fulfilled your priestly calling, 
preserving the body of Christ as it was conferred on you in your ordination, through tribulation, hardship, persecution, and even death, you preserved that portion conferred on you whole and unharmed. And now as you stand glorified before the throne, we, your spiritual children, offer you this praise. Rejoice, rival of Abraham, in holy obedience. Rejoice, equal of Zechariah, in piety and suffering. Rejoice, imitator of the apostle Paul, in steadfast proclamation of the truth. Rejoice, emulator of the divine John, in unwavering love of the Lord. Rejoice, colleague of the seventy, in zealous witness to Christ. Rejoice, companion of the Baptist, in virtue. Rejoice, righteous shepherd, in the manner of Ignatius. Rejoice, loving father, after the order of Nicholas. Rejoice, O Father John, true pastor of the Orthodox in Russia and America. Arriving in America, you changed your outward appearance to acclimate yourself to this strange new land. Yet within you was preserved the faith, whole and uncorrupted. Neither did your devotion to your holy calling change, for you labored fervently through all manner of hardship and tribulation to multiply that which was entrusted to you. Like the servant with the five talents, we, the multitude, gained by your labor, now gather to praise him who acquired us through you, singing, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. A good shepherd seeks the sheep who is lost, in like manner you sought those led astray by reformers, schismatics, and those whose devotion to worldly cares, <clears throat> whose devotion is to worldly cares. Yet in so doing you strove to prevent the ninety-nine from falling away, seeking to fulfill Christ's call that there be one flock and one shepherd. For this we, your rational flock, honor you, saying, Rejoice, paragon of rational sheep. Rejoice, scourge of irrational wolves. Rejoice, embodiment of the true shepherd. Rejoice, condemnation of hirelings. <coughs> Rejoice, reconciliation of those led astray. Rejoice, exhortation of the faithful. Rejoice, cornerstone of the church in our land. Rejoice, millstone grinding away the evil in our midst. Rejoice, O Father John, true pastor of the Orthodox in Russia and America. The holy Justinian exclaimed that he had outdone Solomon when he had erected the great church. But you, O Holy Father, have surpassed them both. For not only have you erected a temple to the glory of God, but in like manner you have added to the building up of the church by adding soul upon soul, as a builder would add stone upon stone, sealing your work with your blood as with mortar. For this we honor you as we praise the cornerstone upon which you built, crying, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. Be all things to all people. The holy basil implores of Christ, asking him to be what he is. In this you emulated Christ to your people, provider to the poor, protector of the weak, solace to the distressed, anchor of the faithful, and beacon to the lost. For this we extol you with such words as these. Rejoice, Apostle, bringing truth to our land. Rejoice, Teacher, illuminating those in the fog of error. Rejoice, Preacher of virtue and Christian love. Rejoice, Unmercenary, freely granting grace from God. Rejoice, Bodily Angel, guarding your charges from the assaults of evil. 
Rejoice, heavenly disciple, adjuring those who reject God. Rejoice, confessor, enduring hardship in defense of the church. Rejoice, prophet of the word, rejected and killed by your own countrymen. Rejoice, O Father John, true pastor of the Orthodox in Russia and America. In all things, you are the embodiment of the true priesthood in Christ. You are both a priest descended from priests after the order of Aaron, and a priest set apart by God after the order of Melchizedek. You are the image of piety like Simeon the Elder, and model of righteous devotion like Zechariah the prophet. You are a zealous teacher and pastor in the manner of John of Kronstadt, and a fervent evangelizer in the manner of Juvenali of Alaska. O disciple, priest, and martyr for Christ, we praise and honor as we glorify the great high priest who inspired you, proclaiming, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. In all things, you are the embodiment of the true priesthood in Christ. You are both a priest descended from priests after the order of Aaron, and a priest set apart by God after the order of Melchizedek. You are the image of piety like Simeon the Elder, and model of righteous devotion like Zechariah the Prophet. You are a zealous teacher and pastor in the manner of John of Kronstadt, and a fervent evangelizer in the manner of Juvenali of Alaska. O disciple, priest, and martyr for Christ, we praise and honor as we glorify the great high priest who inspired you, proclaiming, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia! In all things you are the embodiment of the true priesthood in Christ. You are both a, a priest descended from priests after the order of Aaron, and a priest set apart by God after the order of Melchizedek. You are the image of piety like Simeon the Elder, and a model of righteous devotion like Zechariah the prophet. You are a zealous teacher and pastor in the manner of John Kronstadt, and a fervent evangelizer in the manner of Juvenali of Alaska, O disciple, priest, and martyr for Christ, we praise and honor as we glorify the great high priest who inspired you, proclaiming, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. You were born into a priestly family like the Holy Forerunner, and like him, you went out into a wilderness proclaiming the kingdom of God. In doing so, you strengthened those who believe and corrected those in error. Wherefore, we, the descendants of those who heeded your call, cry to you. Rejoice, heavenly trumpet, proclaiming God to the world. Rejoice, mouth speaking true theology. Rejoice, beacon of truth amidst error. Rejoice, correction of those deceived by the prince of this world. Rejoice, tormentor of the devil's minions. Rejoice, strength of the faithful. Rejoice, herald of truth in the new world. Rejoice, truth's guardian and martyr in the old. Rejoice, O oh Father John. True pastor of the Orthodox in Russia and America. O glorious Aramanto John of Chicago, true emulator of the Good Shepherd, you nourished your flock with streams of divine doctrine. You defended them from the minions of the evil one who sought to devour them like ravenous wolves. But you preserved them whole and unharmed at the expense of your earthly life. Therefore we honor you as a true disciple of the Lord, crying, Rejoice, O Father John, true pastor of the Orthodox in Russia, Hour of John, the lighter of America, shining star of Russia, 
as Cyril and Methodius brought orthodoxy to the Slavic lands, so you brought the true faith to the new world. Having been set over a portion of Christ's flock, you became all things to them, that you might by all means save some. To the powerless you were an advocate, to the ignorant and unenlightened a teacher and preacher of grace, to the spiritually weak a pillar of strength, to the needy a benefactor and protector, to the sick a physician of soul and body, and to those estranged by false teaching you were a light in the darkness, while to all you were minister of the sacred mysteries and model of righteous living. Having come with your family to an alien land, you ceaselessly gave yourself for your flock, traversing the Midwest that none of Christ's sheep may be left untended. In so doing, you endured hardship, suffering, sorrow, and strife. Then, continuing your service in your homeland, you ultimately suffered death at the hands of your own countrymen, like the prophets of old. All this you accepted for the sake of the gospel, O glorious Father. May we, through your example and prayers, be made to imitate your righteous life. O true shepherd of the rational flock, entreat the chief shepherd that the church in our land and throughout the world may enjoy the unity of the Trinity, that it be spared from the powers of the devil which constantly besiege it. And as your last act on earth was to pray for the cessation of hostility, so also implore that the Lord of hosts and the Prince of Peace, that our world may be preserved in peace and tranquility, most especially in the conflicts and wars which now rage in Ukraine, Israel, and Palestine. Sincerely, O righteous pastor, never cease beseeching the Lord that he may extend his bounteous mercy upon us, his unworthy servants. For it is he whom you served, it is he who glorified you, and he it is to whom we ascribe glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom, most holy Theotokos, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement you gave birth to God the Word. Through Theotokos we magnify you. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Father bless. May Christ our God, through the prayers of his most pure mother, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, the prayers of our fathers among the saints, innocent metropolitan of Moscow, enlightener of the Aliens, and apostle to America, T. Gun, the confessor, patriarch of Moscow, enlightener of North America, John, the wonder worker of Shanghai and San Francisco, Nikolai of South Canaan, Bishop of Zincha, Raphael, Bishop of Brooklyn, of the Holy Hierarch Martyrs, Juvenal of Ilyana, Proto Martyr of North America, Alexander of New York and Moscow, of the Holy and Glorious and Truly Victorious Martyr, Peter the Aleut, of our Venerable Father, Hermit of Alaska, Wonder Worker of America, of the Holy and Righteous Priest, Alexis of Wilkes Bear and Yahweh, Enlightener of the Native Peoples of Alaska, the Holy and Righteous Forebears of God, Joachim and Anna, of our Holy, Glorious and Truly Victorious Hiro Martyr, John of Chicago, and Sarkoi Selo, Roto Hiro Martyr under the Bolshevik yoke and missionary to North America, whose memory we have honored and of all the saints. Have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It is interesting to note that in the representation of St. John, we have various ones. We have him as a clean-shaven, short-haired, 
priest holding and nourishing the Chicago Cathedral, laboring in a strange land, uncomfortable, uncertain, unstable in many ways. And you have him dressed as a very typical Russian priest, many times in this area with the longer hair, the beard growing back out. And yet as the, uh, as the Akathis stated, yet inwardly you maintain the Orthodox faith that because of the, the Ukaz, that under the direction of his bishop, Archbishop Tikon, who was also laboring in North America, he was obedient and flexible and was ready in any way that was needed and possible to minister in truth and in love to his flock. And it must be this way with us. We must be ready in any situation, whether it is our, our work arena, whether it is our home, whether it is in traffic, whether it is at church, whether it is on vacation. You know, there is no off season for a Christian. There is no situation in which we should not be able, even if it means that things are less than ideal. You know, there would be some that would balk at the change of an outward appearance of a priest and make much of this. However, we know that truly the faith surpasses these externals. Father Seraphim Rose uh, spoke very often of avoiding and being wary of the cult of externals. And yet, to be obedient and to be fervent in our Orthodox faith, to say our prayers, to read the scriptures, to fast when it is time to fast, and to always be ready with an answer, to speak of the truth of our faith, and for this to occur, it's often said, you cannot give what you do not have. And St. John was able ultimately to live day in and day out, serving the liturgy, teaching, preaching, educating the people, because he had that life. He was able to give ultimately his life, because within him he had living moving and dwelling within him, as St. Paul said, always carrying around the death of the Lord Jesus within him. He knew ultimately that this life was temporary and passing, and his calling was to remind us to live not in function of this temporary life that passes, but to live in function to get our marching orders from, to orbit around the gravitational pull of the kingdom of God and not that of this world. May we continue to follow his example and in whatever situation, whatever uh, compartment of our lives we may find ourselves, let us not compartmentalize our faith let us not compartmentalize our God as if he could be placed into any kind of box. But let us live truly, consistently our faith in our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ, to whom be all glory, honor, and worship, together with his Father who has no beginning, and the all-holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.